Hey everybody, Nina here. Um, I wanted to go through a new feature of Cadence that I didn't know existed, so it might not actually be new, but it's new to me. Um, but with the new Google EEAT guidelines, I think it's really important to set these up and to do them properly. Um, I also had someone in my free Facebook group, I think, or it might have been my membership, I don't really remember. Um, one of the two, someone asked about how to get their author page linked, and this relates to that. So I figured I would do a little tutorial of how to get this sorted. So as you can see down here, um, this is at the bottom of one of my posts. It's my travel payouts review on uh, She Knows SEO. After you get to the bottom, you will get this little bio for me as an author. It's got my little face. Um, it has my name that's linked. Um, right now, I don't really care that it's not like a clear hyperlink. Maybe in the future, I'll change that. But for now, I don't mind. Um, then it's got a little bio that I've added, and then it links to a couple social channels of mine. Um, I do have more, and I just haven't linked them yet, but that's something you can do later. Uh, basically, what you can do here is automatically insert this on every single post. And I'm not talking about using another plugin. I'm not talking about doing this manually or using a reusable block. I'm talking about a feature that I didn't know was in Cadence um, and that will automatically put this on every blog post on your site. You can even have it added to pages. So how do we do this? The first thing you're going to need to do is go into Customize. Once it loads. Da, 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 da. Okay, now you're going to go into the post slash, slash pages layout. We're going to do a single post right now. And so you'll see all of the extra info that we always see up there. But hiding down here under the show footer area um, is show post author box. So that is, once I get down here, what this is. So if I turn this off, it's going to vanish. So if I turn it back on, then it's back. So I chose center. I like the way it looks like this. Um, if you do normal, it will kind of like left side orient it, um, which for me just feels a bit awkward because the image is quite small. And I don't know, for me, center looks better. So I set center, then you can set, does it use the author archive link? Otherwise it just wouldn't be linked. I want it to link to the author archive page. That way it shows what I've written as the author. You could also um, manually link it to um, your about page instead. I don't know how to do that bit. I'll be honest with you. I did just learn this. So if someone knows how to do it, pop it in the comments. I would very much appreciate learning. But for my purposes, um, since I am a solo author, it's totally fine to just send them to my archive page. So that's all you have to do here. Um, then I'm not going to publish it because it's what was already there. So we're going to go to the back end of our site. Um, and so where you need to go first is in users. So you're going to go to profile of whatever user you're on. If you have multiple authors, you would go to users and then like select which one you're going to edit. And now I have ignored all of this information before I knew about this. So I have like my information there. Um, but if you come down here, all of this SEO stuff and the um, about yourself stuff, I have never touched. So I went in and I added stuff. Basically what you have to do is you have to write a little biography for yourself here, and that's exactly where it pulls it from. Um, it will also pull the name displayed publicly, so you can change it to your full name. I before just had Nina showing, but I think it is better to have a full name. And then it gives you a spot for Twitter and Facebook with rank math. I have not figured out this same as schema property yet. To be honest, I didn't really try. I just popped the links in to see if it would work. It doesn't, you need to do something else. Um, I think what you would do is go into rank math generally and add these, but essentially it's a, th there are ways, if someone knows, let me know. Um, I have not sorted it yet, but I, again, I have not tried that hard <laughs> to be honest. Um, then I have a profile picture. Now I had to turn this on because it wasn't automatically set for mine. And where you do that is you go into settings and then I believe it's discussion. Yeah. And so it's at the bottom of discussion where you have to turn on show avatars. So I turned it off because I didn't have, um, I turned off my comments on my site and because I used to find that it would, um, result in a lot of like broken image issues with, um, comments when I did have them. 
but what I've done here is basically just turned it on again solely for my purposes. I have a couple comments from like the first week this site was open and I forgot to turn them off and now I've turned them off, so we're fine. Um, but this is where it'll pull a profile picture from. You can do it without a profile picture, that's totally fine. I think it does add more authority to put a face to, to a name kind of thing. Um, yeah, and so that's basically when you come down here, it all auto populates to this section. So like it links to those social profiles I gave it. Um, it adds like my little bio, it pulls my name, it pulls this picture. If I wanna change my Gravatar image, I have to log into Gravatar and then change it, which I did have to do for one of my sites because it's connected to a different account for some reason. Do not ask me why. I could not tell you why I use different emails, but I did. Um, then for this one up here by Nina Clapperton, if you hover over it, actually I'll just click on it to show you guys, I don't know if you can see it in the corner. It comes to my author page, that's like the archive page with all of my posts. Um, I'm actually gonna up it, that way it shows more of them on one page, but essentially it'll show every post I've written, which I think is quite helpful. Um, what The way that I did that is we have to go back to users profile, and it is this link here, the website link. So I think most of us have done it where it, we link to our homepage or it'll autofill it um, to link to your homepage. This has something happening. And what we really want it to do is either to link to our about page or to an author page. I'm currently testing between two sites, like two of them are gonna go, I mean, one of them's gonna go to my about page, one of them's gonna go to my author page, and I wanna see which authority Google kind of prefers, since my about page does have all the information about me as an author, but this is all the post written, and this is what people tend to do, but I can't tell if this is an old style yet, so I'm interested in the experiment and seeing what happens. Um, but essentially, it's giving a link to a location where Google can see my expertise and authority, and one of the ways they can do that is seeing that I've written a lot of stuff about this topic. Um, I think the about page might be better personally, because like that is where you actively define your experience, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness, but we shall see. I will report back with that experiment whenever I feel it has concluded. Um, yeah, but so this page is really where you're gonna do all of that stuff. So. I recommend adding one of these. Um, another option if you don't have Cadence is the Author Box plugin. It is free to my knowledge. Um, or you could create a reusable block um, that you either add at the bottom of posts or maybe a hook element. So like this blue one that I have here is a hook element in Cadence, which comes with Cadence Pro. Um, it is not a feature of the free one, but you could make a reusable block of it and add it in everywhere if you wanted to. Um, and then a last option is to use the free ad inserter. I don't know if it's a pro, I think it's just called ad inserter. And it's a plugin that is made technically for controlling Google AdSense. I don't really know anyone that uses it for that. Most people use it to auto insert things such as their um, affiliate disclaimer, like this one here at the top of their posts. Oh, that's quite blurry. I need to adjust my compression settings. Um, yeah, but they use it to like add this little bit at the top, maybe add their table of contents in a certain place. For me, um, I'm using hook elements now because I have the pro version, but before I used ad inserter. Um, but having some sort of author bio is important for Google to understand who is writing this. Like it's kind of one of the elements of answering the why the F should I listen to you question that Google kind of asks whenever it looks at your posts. Um, and since some people do have older posts where they haven't necessarily added in their expertise as much as they should, this can be a good way to kind of have a stopgap solution in between um, you going in and updating them to give that extra personal information. So I was really like psyched to learn this. I love learning new things with Cadence um, and really with blogging in general. So if you guys have other discoveries, let me know. I'm always happy to discover more. Um, I started on this journey with these like little author bio blocks. I saw a bunch of people on Twitter and there was a guy named Kyle, I don't remember his last name, on Niche Pursuits that was going into author schema a ton. And I've been deep diving into it, the, into it ever since and I just didn't have time to make one. So yeah, when I was procrastinating, um, planning what I'm doing with the next five months of my life, I decided to do this <laughs> and I'm glad to have gotten it done. Um, 
yeah, you can also, if you're struggling to write your bios, I recommend using ChatGPT or Jasper or any AI writer and like feed it some info about you, train it on some examples of other bios from other people in your industry to like get the pattern kind of of what a bio should look like. You can even just Google how to write a bio and then put in the random examples that aren't in your industry. I do find different industries have different styles. So you just want to be like, I wouldn't use maybe like a scientist's version for mine because I think it would get a bit confused about the pattern. Um, but yeah, I I did actually write this one from scratch, but I probably could have used Jasper to make it a bit easier. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial. Sorry, my dog is snoring next to the mic now. Um, <laughs> and yeah, have a good day.